to ready and go. Well, this is a wee tiddler of a question this, just as well, because the time you'll save in this, you'll need for the following question, which was the last one in that particular year. It says, how many pairs x, y, which are positive integers, I've just got old school by natural numbers, solve this equation? Well, by inspection, you just look at it and say, oh, a root 17 minus a root 17 would be zero. There's an answer. Except, y well, can't be zero, because it's got to be greater than or equal to one. But having realised you're just playing with numbers of root 17s, you would just realise, well, any number of root 17s, if you take away one of them, will leave you one less number of root 17s. So it's all just root 17s. So this is going to be an infinite answer. Or I could specify a bit more than that. If I've got some number of root 17s and I take away a root 17, I'll just have one less lot of root 17. Now, of course, that isn't x and y, but that in itself will just tell you it's infinite. So because to get x itself, I'll have to pop that inside. So for that n to go inside the root, you'll have to get dressed up and be n squared. So that's n squared times root 17. That's still root 17, but that was a minus. Whoops, a daisy. And that's going to be n minus 1 times root 17 squared. So there's your pair. x is n squared times 17, and y, the corresponding y, would be 1 less, the number 1 less squared times 17. But for this part here, n would have to start at 2, because I'm not allowed to have the 0, so n greater than or equal to 2 n being natural number. Oh. So you could have x is 4 squared times 17 and y would be 3 squared times 17. 16 times 17, 9 times 17. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The answer is infinite. That just goes on forever. So it's e. But you'd probably have answered that without even writing anything down just by doing it by inspection, realising you're just playing with numbers of root 17s.